There is just so much to see in Orissa and I feel like there's just not enough time. So I think I'm going to head up north along the eastern coast of the state now. What I love most about Orissa is the profusion of natural beauty. Its warm climate and diverse landscape has ensured its place as a haven for wildlife. Although there are several wildlife sanctuaries and parks around here, the one that tops the list is Bitar Kanika. It's one of the most unspoiled wild experiences in the country. Watching the spotted deer and the monkeys in their natural habitat is so wonderful. In fact, there are many reasons why the Bhita Kanika Sanctuary is a hot favorite with naturalists. To begin with, it is the largest mangrove forest in the entire country after the Sundarbans. It's also really famous for being the nesting ground for millions of endangered olive ridley turtles. And finally, the estuarine crocodiles of Bhita Kanika? Well, they hold the distinction of being the largest species of its kind, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. There's a croc. Oh, wow. It's nesting time, so you can see a lot of them with their babies. Today, it's sunny and beautiful. And since the tide is low, I can actually see many crocs sunbathing on the banks. Some are over six meters in length, but they're pretty shy creatures. The slightest whiff of human presence, like our approaching boat, makes them quickly slink away into the water. Meandering through the creeks in Bitar Kanika is quite an experience. It's a complete bird watcher's paradise. This place is flooded with over 170 species of resident and migratory birds. Kingfishers, painted storks, even Argentine storks are around here. It's absolutely beautiful. Yesterday was fun, but I spent most of my time exploring Bitar Kanika by boat. Today, I want to do something different. So I'm going to go for a nature walk on one of the islands. What a welcome relief from the overcrowded parks and sanctuaries which are always bustling with people and vehicles. That's what I love about Bitar Kanika. From here I can see how vast and dense this jungle is. I can't imagine how much wildlife is actually hidden inside the jungle. Here, it's possible to be just one with nature, truly absorbing the sights and sounds of this pristine island. Apart from being nature's treasure trove, these mangroves provide amazing protective functions. 
They act as effective shelter belts, especially against natural disasters such as cyclones and tidal surges. In fact, during the unprecedented 1999 super cyclone, these mangroves withstood the onslaught of super cyclonic winds and saved the life and property of millions of people. Could have easily spent more than a couple of days nestled in nature in Bita Kanaka, enjoying the wildlife, the weather. I definitely have to come back. It's the perfect place to reboot and rejuvenate. Up next is a colorful weaver's colony, followed by an exploration of ancient Buddhist.